All right, we're recording. I'm gonna get to speaker view. All right. Okay, guys, welcome to another training tonight. I'm so excited because we have Ashley. I'm sorry, you may hear Audrey in the background, um, but we have Ashley here tonight. I'm so, so, so excited to have her here and to talk to you guys to get some secrets and all that or whatever. Um, so yeah, so without, without further ado, we can go ahead and uh, you can start. And oh, so your first question basically is um, your story. Like, how did you get into it? Well, okay. Hey, everyone. My name is Ashley. Um, I started It Works. Um, I actually went to um, FAMU with Alina. So I watched her journey um, pretty much just here and there. Um, I really wasn't paying attention to actually what she was doing. Um, but I remember her leaving her job. You know how you just scroll and you check in and see what people are doing year after year. Um, but literally, I would see her talk about the raps. Maybe. I don't even remember her talking about the rap. All I remember was when um, it was in May, I guess the end of, it was month in and everyone promoted. And um, when everyone promoted, you see like her Instagram feed was like filled with like all of these promotions. And I'm like, what? First of all, it, it wasn't like she was at the top and it went down. It was like diamonds, emeralds, rubies. And all I'm like, all I'm seeing is like all of these people are like normal people. Like when it's so many other people, it just really clicks in your head. And I was just like, oh no, they're not about to do this on my watch. Like I'm about to join. I didn't know what they were selling. Like I had no idea about It Works. I didn't even know it was It Works. All I was like was sign me up. And literally, I joined the business May 3rd. So you can tell that was shortly after promotions would have, you know, popped up. So um, I joined on May 3rd. I was talking to her in the post office. I'm like, you really don't have to, like, give me a whole spill because, you know, I've watched for three years. I, 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 I think it's going to work, you know, but I'll see for myself. I boosted my kid with the $149 party pack or whatever. And then I just chilled for a couple of months, like. I got distributors, but it didn't dawn on me that I needed to do both. So um, I got three loyal customers, and Alina called me, and she's like, you didn't get your four, you didn't get four loyal customers in 30 days. I was like, oh, well, I could have did that. Why didn't you tell me? Like, I wasn't even, I didn't even, like, know about what I was doing. I didn't know four and 30. Like, I was just, like, getting distributors because, of course, that's what attracted to me, like, the money that could be made. So I got, like, five distributors my first month but I only had three lawyer customers and then they definitely didn't have volume because I wasn't teaching them how to get customers so um pretty much I I slowly gradually I wasn't like a runner a fast starter um I pretty much slowly coasted into the business I remember though like around September October I remember that Alina met with the team well she like met with me and she was just like you know um I was like, well, are people like depending on me? I don't know how we got in the question because I wasn't even thinking about charting. Like, I, she was like, yeah, like people, like you are on someone else's chart. Like, you know, people are depending on you. Like, I was like, oh, I'm not going to be the slacker on anyone's chart. Like, I, at that point, I was just like, oh, okay, I get it now. So, ever since then, like September, October, I pretty much like ran at that point. And I went Ruby. Um, in September, I think it was September, October. I don't know. It may have been September, October. And I know the next month I was charted for Emerald and I could have went Emerald in October, but it was just like, I refuse to like work for people. Like that is like, I refuse to promote. And I was definitely not about to do it for a thousand dollar bonus. Like it just, that just wasn't working for me. So um, I was like, Alina, like I talked to her on Halloween, I was trick or treating. She was like, well, what you going to do? I'm just like, Courtney's going Ruby, which is the other Ruby was one of my other rubies on my Emerald leg. And she was like, Courtney's going Ruby. I was like, bump the rest. Like if they want to work and get their stuff together. So when she went Ruby, it was like a, a drive, like went off in my team and the culture kind of changed. Like she's not going to work for us. We got to pull our own self. 
um, together. And it, I mean, we've been running ever since. I went diamond um, pretty much November. I skipped the promotion and I double promoted to um, diamond. And here we are now, like I have girls that are chartered for diamond. Um, I, I pour a lot into my team. Um, it's just been an amazing journey. And it's only been seven months. Like, it's crazy. Like, I feel like I just started and I'm like literally halfway there to my one year mark. But that's kind of like my little spill. Oh, I'm a lawyer by day. <laughs> um, so I'm a criminal defense attorney. Um, I pretty much represent sex offenders. Um, 24-7. Um, at night or whenever I have time, um, um, I do credit repair on the side. Um, I normally do it only on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So those are my dedicated days to my business. Um, I started that business um, in January, or February of last year. So I'm coming up on one year with the credit bar. And I built that business solely online through Instagram. So I pretty much knew that I wanted to like segue out I just didn't know how to do it so it works it's given me a lot of freedom I've been able to um, hire an assistant that's helping me you know I've got the extra money to hire an assistant so we typically do the credit bar on Tuesdays and Thursdays so that's it okay so yes I love your story it's, it sounds like everyone else's where it's like you know we first come in and we're like uh yeah. And then that's when we finally what is this? Right. <laughs> right. Okay. So um my biggest question for you is because everyone um that's on my team works full time. So how do you really juggle, you know, working full time as a lawyer, then your credit bar, then I know your mom. So like how do you do all of that and still able to work your business? And I mean, since you're I know you're going presidential this year. Yes, so, I <laughs> So um, want to hear well, how you do it. Okay, so what I do is I like to message early in the morning or late at night. I mean, you just pretty much have to get it done. So when I wake up early, I might like, message. I love to message people early so they won't respond because if they respond to me, that means I'm going to have to actually answer them back. So I like to do it at random times, like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Even at 7 a.m., you can kind of like not respond back if they are up. You can kind of wait until lunchtime or something like that. But me, I literally don't respond until, like, at night. I'll just, like, I mean, if they want it, they want it. So I do, like, because my day, like, I'm literally standing up all day. I'm in the courtroom. Like, I'm, I don't even have my phone half of the time in the morning. So I text, like, early in the morning or late at night, like, 1, 12, 11:30, and then I act like I'm asleep if they respond back you know like it's like the loudest like the last thing I do so I I blast those messages out like I copy and paste copy and paste the people because I plan I do plan who I'm going to message the night before or the day before like I have my prospects of who I need to message who I need to follow up with so I kind of do that I do like I'm a Friday follow-up person that is just what works for me um, so I follow up with everybody on Friday, unless I have a day for them already on my schedule. Like if they're a potential DT, they told me to call them on this day. That's in my phone, in my calendar. So I'll know. Otherwise, um, as far as messaging, I do that, but I'm really just building through Like when it comes to like meeting new people, I'm doing that throughout the day. Like when I'm sitting across some court reporters and lawyers and, you know, you get to know these people and you're just like, Hey, you know, like I gave one of my uh, prosecutors, I was like, you have been coughing like for two weeks. And, you know, it's disgusting. Let me give you some of the grades. And she's like, what are these? And so, you know, I just handed to her. And then I had already done one of the other prosecutors that was sitting right there next to her. And she was like, oh, there's these greens because I told her about them. So it's kind of like I, I look at cues for people. Like when people are on maternity leave and they come back from work, I'm the first one to welcome them back. Like, hey, you know, no, you want to lose that pouch, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm just looking for areas to build my business. And it's, it's honestly not hard for me. And when people say, like, how do you do it while working? I'm just like, I'm just living it. You know, everyone I am, you know, you see people in the line at lunch, everyone goes to lunch, you know, especially I work downtown. I'm around a lot of people. So that is kind of like how I build it. Like, I feel like I spend more time with my team, though, than actually, like, building my business. And I think 
that may be another reason why I am so successful is because I spend, I pour a lot into them. So I spend a lot of time, you know, with my team, talking to them, teaching them how to juggle their time. Because and when you have bad time management, you're not going to be a great leader. So I tell them to like block off times. I tell them from eight to 12, if you know that's the busy time in your, in your day, then say, I'm not doing no, it works from eight to 12. I'm just focusing solely on my emails at work. I'm focusing solely on, you know, my projects at work from that time. And then from, let's say from six to 9 PM, you know, I'm doing all it works, you know, after dinner or seven to 10, I'm going to dedicate every day to it works because I, cause we really don't like literally I d- I'm doing 33% of my potential. Into it work. And I made it to diamond and that's the hardcore 33% of my life. You know, so I think that if we block off our times and just say, no, it works. Like, be strict. I am not doing anything it works during this time frame. And it's, it's more effective. You know, you wake up for an hour in the morning, send out all of your messages, and then at night you make response people. In the day, you can engage with people. Like, that's really how, like, I really, that's how I do it. With my son, he, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, that's why I have credit on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm really not working my business. Like, and today I haven't even posted because literally I've been in trial all week and I just haven't, but I've been engaging, you know, I've been engaging. I make sure I try to do something, but I feel like we just have to, don't feel like you're working your business. You're living it. You know, you just, you're living it. That's kind of like how I would say it. Right. Yeah. I love that. Like I really, and that's what I've been trying to look for too. Like really good times where I'm like, all right, let me just focus on one thing. And then not every day, every single like, hour. Oh, I gotta do this and I gotta do this and I gotta look at these charts and I gotta do this. Like my girls know, like on Tuesday and Thursday, don't even like expect to hear or see me. Like that's kind of like how I, unless it's something going on at the end of the month or something like that. But I like, those are my, they don't bother me on, t- they don't bother me on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Like, I'm with you guys a lot. So, like, don't bother me on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, schedule your posts. Like, everyone has been scheduling their posts. It's, like, the best thing since, like, rice in the bag. I don't know. Like, <laughs> the boil in the bag. So, that's kind of, like, that's pretty much it when it comes to, like, how I build. Right. Okay. And so, like, you, well, like you said, you already, you do it pretty much at work, but then you still do social media pretty much almost all of your business is pretty much. Mm-hmm. I have, I do a lot of parties though. Oh I yes. Talk about that, please. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and, then, and maybe that's why I slack off with like, Oh, I don't have to post that much. Cause I have like, I'm booked all weekend for parties. So I am a partier because I don't have to do that much work. Like I don't have to schedule posts. I don't have to do all that because I'm at a party every, 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 every weekend. My whole January is booked with parties. And that's with me. That's with my team members. You know, I'm launching them. You know, it's not just my parties. It's, you know, their party. So parties, I feel like you do less work because that's like five people. It would take me um, 30 days to get five people off of Instagram to purchase something when I can do it in one day at a rap party. So I like to get people to have parties, people who want to be distributors, people who are second guessing. Like my first thing to you, especially if you didn't sign up within like a week of you talking to me, hey girl, let's just have a party and I'll show you how it's done, you know, how easy it is. And literally I bring like a basket and I get there like five minutes before and like pop my stuff up nothing cute and I just like I'm ready like one like last week my um one of my new distributors she's like oh my god like you're not here like we have to set up I'm like girl no worries this is a five minute setup like I just put it out there you know people are watching so they know they, they want to know that it's that easy to hop in with your little basket put your stuff on the table and get to talking like my living room table parties are the best parties like talking to people um intimate sessions to two three people those are the best parties um so i do a lot and i you know i try to get my girls we do them a lot together um i just try to like implement parties because that is how you build fast it's parties to me and i was like i'm not a rap party girl like i just i kept telling myself no ma'am i'm not having a party (laughs) like i'm not gonna be the pure romance 
type of girl, but it's working, you know, it's working. And so how do you and get so these, how do you get these like are you like, are asking you people asking you already people, know these people, already know these people no I'm asking them I'm like hey like they'll like a, if I do like an opportunity post and someone responds to the post or someone just generally likes all my posts I'm like hey girl you like all my posts you know or they'll say they want a free rap you know that have you ever rap for free those people are good to have rap parties because they want a free rap you know here's another way if you didn't win the raffle or you didn't win whatever I had going on, like, here's the way. So I've done, like, two parties from that um, with people on Facebook saying that they want to try a free rap. Um, sometimes at rap parties, <laughs> whoever brings the most, um, the most people um, gets a free rap. And so what will happen is maybe this girl brings two people and she's the only person that came, she's going to get a free rap. Sometimes we have that because at first we were doing parties like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and just seeing if people would show up. So that's kind of like how we got the ball rolling with the parties. Um, also, like with my new girls, I'll tell them because that's a market that you haven't tapped into, especially if we've exhausted our warm market. I'm like, hey, you know, ask your family member, will they have a party for you? Ask your family, will they launch you? Your friend, will they, will they have a party? So it's kind of like I'm tapping into their markets more so. Like, do you know someone would have a party? Ladies' night, when I see someone on my timeline having a ladies' night, Christmas party, pajama party, birthday, you know, I am there. You know, and those, they get a little toasty, you know, and they will buy. So that's kind of like I look for, like, I am a serial stalker. Like, I <laughs> <laughs> am a stalker. Like, I, I can, I listen, I'm not listening, but I notice everything. Like, my birthday's coming up. I'm almost like a club promoter. As soon as your birthday is coming up on Facebook, they're like, hey, get a free bottle at, you know, the nightclub. But that's kind of like me. Hey, your birthday's coming up. What are you doing with your girls? Or something like that. Um, having a ladies' night, you know, are you thinking about getting your girlfriends together uh, for a, a, a spa night or something like that? So that is what I look for on Facebook. I always look for the birthdays. Like, is your birthday coming up? Um, to kind of, like, talk to them like that. Um, but I didn't, I know, um, one of the girls on our team, one of the leaders, she said something about the birthdays and I didn't think about it to just tell them happy birthday. Um, that was another thing that I heard of, but to me, I was thinking more so who can I get to have a party or something like that. Um, but for me personally, most of my parties come from my team members because I feel like I've kind of exhausted people, um, with having parties. So I most try to get them to have the parties. I come and launch them, unless it's someone new that I meet. Like if they want a free wrap, they'll have a party. Okay, that was okay, a lot of good luck. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, those so are, those two questions. Two questions. Open, it open, it open it up. Open it up. Anyone has any Anyone has any specific uh, question? Specific question. What I got for me. Is it a chat open? I oh, don't know. Y'all don't have any questions? Y'all must be killing it over there. <laughs> Y'all are killing it. No questions. Hey. I have a question. I have a question. Okay, Crystal. Mine is more, Mine is more scared to like time management. Mm -hmm. um, working full time, trying to work my business, full time student, mom. It's just like I tried to gauge everything to do it to where I'm like not missing anything and I try to set things on certain days like okay Tuesdays and Thursdays are my school nights um Wednesday I try to leave open you know for it work stuff because we have our meetings and everything like that but I always feel like I'm dropping the ball on something or I'm not really working this business part-time like they say yeah. you can do yeah I feel um, like this business is always full-time oh it is, but again, that's why I say like I'm working it 33% full time. Like out of my total 100% life, 33% of my life is it works, if I'm like being totally honest. And I would say that you have to, you're going to have to incorporate it. Like school nights to me would be like, oh, I get to be around all these students. You know, I can't wait till they get their uh, financial aid check. 
that's about to drop in January. Like, I, that's how I think. Like, I feel like busy people are the best people. That's why when someone says like they don't have a job, I'm like, ooh, are you going to be able to get out of the house? Like, you know, that's my weak spot, dealing with people who are not busy. Because you're right. around people. Like, you're an asset. Like, so when I, I would be happy to go to school on Tuesdays and Thursdays because that is my day where I would have my greens out on my desk at school and I would literally have them out every single day and just do that's working you know introducing somebody like hey I got an extra pack of greens let me give this to you or right, give a product catalog out make sure on every Tuesday and Thursday you get a product catalog out like hey y'all I made a goal that I'm going to give my product catalog off to two people every Tuesday and Thursday in class so you say, today is your day. You're getting the catalog. You know, something like that. Um, because it's kind of like, <laughs> they're like, okay. You know, and then they may say, what is it? You know, or they may say, they may say, they just may take it and look at it later. But that's you engaging with them. Because a lot of students, I find that they're not talking to their classmates. You know, they've been in the whole semester and they have an established relationship. That is a way to get to talking to someone. That's networking. So. When you're around people, you think about that as working your business. So you're not mm -hmm. dropping the ball on Tuesdays and Thursdays because you are working. You're, I mean, when you're talking to someone, that is working. Like behind the screen on social media, no. That's not, to me, an income-producing activity. Doing what I just told you with the students, that is income-producing. You're getting a connection because do you have all their phone number? Like, Well, no, I'm on classes online. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah, I, you in, I thought you were in class. Well, if you don't lie, then you can be working while you're listening. Y'all have like group mm -hmm. projects? Or? Mm -hmm. No, not really. It's through like a lot of our stuff is through our Blackboard and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, we do have like a class forum where you know you can kind of like have discussions with other people, which is pretty good. But I haven't really established any relationships with them yet because it's still new. The semester just started. Yeah. Um, try to find ways to establish a relationship with them, maybe through email. Like, hey, I would like to connect with some of you guys. Are you guys on LinkedIn? You know, maybe get an account like that. You know, your LinkedIn account, you can put It Works up there um, or somewhere you can put that you're a distributor. So that's another way that you're establishing that social connection with them are opening that door because they people look at your profile on LinkedIn they're like well it works what is this you know like you can make it look good like serial entrepreneur you can write something like that you know to gauge their interest you never know um also with that I would I would say that you may want to start having more parties have you had a lot of parties um I haven't had a lot but the parties that I have had have been pretty successful Okay. That's um, and I, I like doing parties. Mm -hmm. It's just like finding the right people to commit to them and being able to have them. Mm -hmm. So that is something that's on my agenda for, you know, the months going forward is having more parties. Yeah. If you have more parties with you being scheduled, busy during the week, it'll, it'll make up for it. Cause that's kind of yeah. like, like I literally am inconsistent online a lot. And I feel <laughs> like, I can I have that because I know like Friday I have a party, Saturday I have a party, and Sunday I have a party. So like I don't have to post for a post every day on social media because I am constantly working my business. And when I'm at work, you know, I'm building relationships. I'm always giving out my blitz card. Like I hated blitzing. I thought it was the worst. Thing. I hate blitzing. <laughs> I, I kind of still hate it, you know? And it's something, it's a challenge for me. And so I try to like, okay, blitz five people today. And it's like, oh, it's just the worst thing ever. It reminds me of like the hair, the girl that wants to straighten her in the mall. Like everyone walks past her. That's what yes. it reminds me. So, but you have to, you know, you have to get used to it. And I listen to people, like I watch so many videos. Like I watch every YouTube video, like ever. Like that is what I do when I'm in the car. So when they... Every time I hear someone say a blitz different, I try to do another method. And then the more I do it, the more comfortable I get. Like, everyone wants a coupon. I have to keep telling myself, everyone yeah. wants a coupon. You know, so, like, start challenging yourself when you're out, like, to blitz. You know, blitz those five people. And it's just like, when you do, just say five or three, you're going to feel so good about it when you're getting those connections. 
Um, also, maybe like um, talking more about your journey, like talking about when I tell people I'm so busy, like when I make my post, I tell them because the first thing someone tells you is I'm so busy. And I like roll my eyes like whatever. You don't even know busy. What busy um, is, right? <laughs> yeah. and, and then you're broke. I'm like, it's what are you you're doing? Like, you can't be busy and broke. But anyway, right. so I would just say like went to court this morning, worked out this morning, had lunch. I'll say I uh, went to depositions in the afternoon, picked up my son, took my son to football practice. Um, I'll say cook dinner, went to the grocery store, took the dog to the vet. And like, I'll make a long post like that. Like I have time, you know, you know, that's not my excuse or something like that. So people are like, okay, well she is busy and she's doing it. So especially if you're trying to get distributors because it kind of yeah. like you're getting to them, you're, you're getting in their mind, you're hitting that pain point. And that's really what you want to do with your post. And a lot of people reach out to me and they say like, people know they can't tell me they're busy like mm -mm. you can't you just can't tell me you're busy like I always say like the busy people Diddy is like busy and he's still working right I still working so what is it about us normal people that are broke like compared to them what is it about us that that we feel like we are so busy that we can't right. you know do this fun job because it's fun you know it's just like and I have to always tell myself, girl, you are not Beyonce. And she is still working. Like, you can't, I'm not busy. Like, I have to keep telling myself, I am not busy. Because I'm not. Because I'm broke, you know? When I'm, you know, I, could, I would be able to say that when I'm making, you know, when I'm a millionaire, you know? Right. When I'm busy, I can't answer the phone. Like, I don't have time. But now I have time. I just told you I was working 33% and I'm a diamond, you know, and I'm maintaining every month doing... The, like, I'm not doing this 100%. I probably would be, you know, presidential ambassador if I was, but my 33% is good. Yeah, it's enough. So that's why I tell people, give, give your 33% 100% or whatever your 25%. If you give it 100%, you're going to do well in this business because I'm like, well, dang, it scared me to think about my 50% because I'm like, oh, my God, you know, I'm doing 33% and this is what I'm doing? Like, right. it's crazy to me. And I always tell people, don't ask me what I'm doing next because it scares the living shit out of me. Like, what is happening next? <laughs> because you're like, once you do it, you're there. It's like, oh my God, I've been posting cute stuff and wearing these green clothes and I'm making over $2,000 just, you know, and going to work every day. Like, who where did this business come from? So that's how I talk to people too, by the way. I'm like, you would be crazy not to join this business. Like, who who gives you unlimited bonuses every month? Like, or every week? Like, it's to me, it's crazy. $100. All I got to do is tell somebody about the business. They join. I help them become successful. I get $100. Like, I'm getting my money back immediately. Get the box. You get four wraps. Sell them. You get your money back. I tell people, I'm like, girl, People who don't join this business are crazy. And that is how I talk to people when I'm on the phone with them as distributors. I'm like, I don't understand how people do it. I don't understand how they don't sign up because it's a no brainer. And that is what I'm saying on the phone. Like I say that lie every single time. I'm like, it is a no brainer. Like I don't see how people not join this business. Like you're getting your money right back. Like I don't understand. And that is how I'm like talking. They're like, yeah, like, and then I'll tell them, like, you understand, right? Like, I'm talking to them like I want them to agree with me. And I'm shaking my head. You know, I'm doing, I'm a, I have a psychology degree. Even though I'm a lawyer, I'm still, like, deep in the head. So I predict, I'm like, and people can never tell me they're too busy because, like, I'm the busiest person in the world. So people cannot, I always talk about people, whoever they are. So if they are thinking about that, if they're thinking about telling me that, they're going to they're gonna not say it because I already said it. Right. You know? No, I know. I just went off on the things with that. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, Thank you. you yes. We need this. You have the time, though. That's the long story short. Anybody got any other questions? Kayla does. Okay, Kayla. Kayla? Kayla May? Oh, yeah, that's me. Girl. <laughs> see? I see the workers. 
I'm trying that. to get like you. I'm trying to get like you. Oh, what you got? Okay, so I have seven potential distributors that continuously tell me they're interested, continuously tell me they're going to sign up, continuously saying, yeah, girl, yeah, girl, but I just can't get them in. Like, and I keep asking them, like, you know, do you have any questions? But while they're like, no, mm -mm. I'm like, okay. So, and I'm like, I'm not the type of person that's going to be like, look, when, like, tell me when right mm -hmm. now. Like, I'm trying to not be pushy, but I'm still kind of like, hey, what's up? What's going on? So, like, what what can I like I'm trying to figure out what I'm missing like what what the, the missing link is I think for those people like you have to win like they the what they're waiting on they're waiting on you to win like they are the people that as soon as you go to your next promotion or as soon as something happens big for you they are going to be there you know they're waiting on the next step is you so for those people I'm like stop I tell my girls don't focus on them they're waiting on you to win so like <laughs> Okay. When I won, like, the people that, that's why we have to, like, focus on other people. And we have to constantly, like, focus on other people. And they're going to come. Like, I'll engage with those people. Like, I leave them alone. And then I'll just comment on their picture. And then I'll just, and then I'll just, I'll just say, hey, girl, you know, or, you know, like their post. I won't say anything about their post. And start making that genuine connection with them mm -hmm. on social media. And then win, like literally, like show them that I'm gonna win with or without you. So I need seven more other potential distributors. So that means your your total needs to go up to 14. You need to get 14 people where you got the other people, and then be really confident. Like, girl, you better jump on this boat quick because I'm going fast, you know. <laughs> and when I hit my rank, I'm not gonna be give, be able to give you the special attention that I would be able to give you now, you know, while it's fresh. Because that is the truth, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, people don't get it as good, you know, now as they would when you hit a certain rank. So for me, um, I leave them alone. Sometimes you have to just take a step back, leave them alone, but you're still like, you have to post stuff like, my team is like amazing, my team is winning, like these girls are on fire. You have to really, and you're talking to them, they just don't know it. So you mm. have to like show them like, I don't know if you have people in your area or anything, like people want to be a part of something. So you have to give them something to be a part of. So a lot of people attract to us because we always show what we're doing. Like, have you guys like shown this? Have y'all like took a picture of this? A screenshot the meeting like, hey, I'm talking to, you know, I'm on the call with Diamond Leaders. Like we're <laughs> trying to get this money like whatever you want to say you know with so it's kind of like people want to be a part of something so you it's your job to give them something to be a part of um they're still your potentials you still want to establish relationships with them still like their pictures I mean, like really like them you know like their pictures um comment on their posts um if they you know make a post you may want to say something to them like yeah, I think the pink one um, just comment on that stuff. And then, you know, you may want to follow up, girl, you ready now? You know, <laughs> like, New Year, you ready? Like, literally, my follow-up game is like, you ready to get started? Are right, you ready to go? <laughs> okay, no, no, we're not. I'm like, okay. You know, I, and then I'm keep it moving, you know? And then when you get people... Um, are you welcome someone? Make sure you're telling, you know, just welcome this um, girl. You know, she's been on the fence. Now she's ready to run. Also sharing stories of other people um, in the business because they're going to read. A, literally, I had a DT that would, she would literally read the stories. Like she, when she talked to me, she was like, and I read this story about this teacher and I read this story about this. And, I, and I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I sat there and told my husband, I told him it wasn't just her. It was all these other stories, it was all these other stories. I'm like, oh my God. So you just have to give them stories that, and they'll connect with it because they may not connect with your story, A, because you may not have shared it yet. Or two, they just may not connect. Their story may not be your story. It may be mine. It may be internet story. So you have mm -hmm. to make sure that you're sharing other people's story because someone is going to see it and like, oh, that's me. That's me right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So win. Long story short. 
want to just want to lay down here in the trees. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, Latrice, you, uh, I know you want to ask a question. <laughs> Call me by like a professor. No, well, what happened is I got on my phone, but then my phone started freezing, so I signed in on my computer. Oh, I was like, why do you have two people in the <laughs> uh, Two of me. I don't know if y'all can handle two of me. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now my question is i know you said you message people so what generally does a message look like do you like um specifically make it uh based off of what you've seen on that person um do you make it personable or do you have a general script that you follow um it depends on the person like a lot of posts now are about losing weight um, a lot of posts that people are making about just more energy, changing their lives. So when I look at their posts, like I can remember like, oh, I saw her say that she's sick of her job. Oh, I saw her say that she's ready to get in the gym. So I'll message her based on their posts. Like, hey girl, I saw um, you posted about losing weight. You know, I have a couple products. I would love to talk to you about giving you my 40% off discount. Like I keep it real simple. Like if it's just a cold message, it's like, Hey girl, um, I'm looking for product testers to try my hair, skin, and nail peels. Um, are you looking to like grow your hair out, strengthen your hair, get new edges? Um, I can give you my 40% off as long as you take before and after pictures, stay consistent. Like literally, that's it. Like if it's a cold message, I'm just going to pick a product. I'm not going to give them too many options. Um, so if I'm on like a hair, skin, and nail day, I'll just do all hair, skin, and nails. And then I'll make sure okay. that my post reflects at least some hair, skin, and nail um, pictures. Or I may say, sometimes I say, I need product testers for, I, I've been looking for product testers. I still need people for hair, on my hair, skin, and nail, people who want to grow their hair out, people who want to tighten, tone, and firm, and people who want a daily detox or something like that. So those are my three, like the greens, um, the cleanse, um, the hair, skin, and nails, and the wraps. So I kind of give them, and then if they say, yeah, girl, I say, what would you be most interested in? And they may say, um, the hair, skin, and nails, or they may say the greens. So I kind of give them just those three options when they're like cold, when I'm cold uh, mm -hmm. messaging them. Um, but I do a lot of messaging based on what I've seen um, on their pages. Because I told y'all I'm a stalker. Like, especially new people that you're adding to your network, like those 25, 30, 15 people you're adding a day, they're on the top of my news feed on Facebook. And so I'm constantly seeing their posts. So I'm getting to know those 10 people. Um, and so I kind of like know what they're posting about. And I'm watching what they're posting about. Like, I added a makeup girl. And so she's going to be a potential distributor of mine. And I'm going to tell her how she's going to be able to implement. Um, it works into her business now. So I make sure when I'm talking to a distributor, I'm telling them how they're going to build their business when I'm talking okay. to them. Mm -hmm. I'm doing all the hard work up front. Girl, you're going to get these cleansers, these toners. You're gonna, people are going to sit in your chair regardless. You're going to cleanse that face. They're going to be beat to death. They're going to ask you what you use. And you're going to tell them. It's kind of like simple as that. Okay. Now I have been getting like, I've been messaging and been getting responses. And um, then after um, that, I'm getting crickets, crickets. And then I follow up. Like um, yesterday, I got like two um, questions. Uh, one was about our shake. Mm -hmm. And the other three were based off of a, um, a uh, one of our um, distributors had a before and after on one of the uh, systems. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to know about the system. So I explained to them the system and then they said, oh, that's great, how much? So I explained to them that um, if they entered our um, loyal customer discount program, savings program, that um, what the cost would be. Mm -hmm. And um, after that, they're like, oh, I don't wanna be locked in for three months. You know, that kind of thing. So how do you get over that not wanting to be locked in? See, I don't like those type of people. I mean, I just figure the problem down the line. I'm just like, no. <laughs> like, they're the type of person that they're, they're going to be problems down the line anyways. 
So okay. but with the system, I do tell people, like, I'll tell them that they ask me how much it is. I'll tell them that the system is um, $245 retail, um, but as a lawyer customer, you can get it for $147. And I tell them what the lawyer customer program is, but at the bottom, I say um, you can order um, the entire system or you can break it down month by month. Here are the prices separately. So okay. they see that, they're like, give me the greens and the, um, the clean, or give me the greens and the thermo fit, or something like that, because okay. now, it just went from 110 down to maybe $60 or something like that. I mean, 147 to $60. So I always like add that into my, yeah, I add it to the bottom. Like separately, you can get it for 33 degrees, 36 to cleanse, um, the thermo fit 39, like at the bottom of my message. So they're able to like see, because otherwise they're never going to go. They're going to think all of your prices are high, number one. Right, right. Think, everything is a hundred and something dollars and then <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna give you coal and that's what i found as well but some people have some high-end clients my clients are not that high-end so i have to give them you know right. to to that so or sometimes when you're talking to people um when you're trying to push the system you may want to just say hey let me give you on the phone we have a couple specials going on um i love to chat with you real quick so they give you your, your their phone number before you give them the price you can talk to them, and the first thing you ask them is, what's your budget? If they say $100, triple threat. You know, it's kind of like our, our new Target Trio, like our the Metabolic Blue. So now, if you can get that budget question in, oh, you're in the money. Because they done messed up. They done told you $100. So you should know, like, okay, I'm going to give you the greens, the thermo fit, the fat fibers. You know, so you kind of, like, should know what someone can get for their budget budget including shipping you know so, so even if they ask like um so they asked me the price of the system so before i tell them the price of the system you're saying hey let's talk mm -hmm. Sometimes I say, what's your phone number girl let me call you real because i even tried to... that and and they never respond with the phone number like i'm a really yeah maybe you're telling them too much before you ask for it like if they respond to you and say hey you know tell me more about the system do you have time to talk are you free to chat okay like that. that's normally my first response anyway um unless okay. you know, i'm in a you know i'm in a good mood like it depends on my if i know that they're responding to a product post that's why i try to give them a little information in the actual product post um that i'm posting on facebook like you can get this all for under 150 dollars or something like that um, cause it's kind of like who has time for the rest of that stuff, but the system is a good, the system is a good volume thing to sell. So I would try to get them on the phone. But another thing is I, when I tell them the price and I give them my little spiel with the separate, I always send a before and after picture of the system with it. So it's like, mm, do I, you know, is that, you know, snatched waste worth? You know, 147, they might be like, yeah. So maybe you want to start implementing the pictures um, with the inquiries. Okay. Yeah, because I they had asked and I said, well, hey, let's chat. And then crickets, crickets. And I followed up um, after the new year and said, hey. I, I was with, with, we with all of those. About, you know, we got special. Yeah. With all of those people that you're following up with, um, you may just want to, your follow-up can be a before and after picture. Like, hey girl, are you ready to get started? Okay. You know, this, with the system. And another thing with the system, like put the actual, the products, all of the products, like I do like a, um, the top is a before and after and the bottom is all of the actual products because people are like, well, what am I paying $147 for? Like, what am I getting? But when you see all of that, okay. stuff, you know, and then you have the before and after picture at the top, it's like, oh, you know, it looks like they can actually visualize it. What they're okay. actually getting. And my last question, you said you do parties. So how do you get commitment to the parties? Because I've booked a couple but then back, they back out, you know? Mm, 
I'm sorry, this is Doll. Rocket. He's chewing on my sofa. Um, how do I get people to the parties? <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear yeah, you. I can hear oh. you. <laughs> oh, okay. So you said, how do I get people to the parties? Um, I don't know. I mean, I asked them and I hope, I mean, I've had parties where there were one, one people, one person that showed up. I've had parties where no one showed up and I just go live and act like I'm talking to a room full of people. Like that has happened on multiple occasions that no one has showed up. Um, and I just, I literally just go sit there and go live and hopefully like I try to bring someone if I can um, so that they can hold the phone. Otherwise the person that hosted it, they're always going to be there. And if they have, if they're not a loyal customer, that is a party because now they should feel bad because none of their people came and they need to be a loyal customer. So if anything, like one time I had someone that no one showed up and she became a distributor that night that no one showed up. Um, I just, you know, I try to confirm like, hey, did you RSVP? Did you get anyone? That, that's why I like for people to host the parties because people are going to show up for other people, not necessarily mm -hmm. for you, you know? So that's why I like to get people to have the parties for me because some people take their friends more seriously than, than mine probably do. So it's kind of like try to get other people to host the party versus you hosting the party. Have you hosted, you mean you've hosted parties and no one came? Um, well, I did my launch party, but um, I had one of my girlfriends show up to that one, but that was in, I started in February. Okay. But I had uh, one of my girlfriends do a party last month. It was successful. It was three people there. I got three, three orders from that one. Oh, that's good. Um, and um, I had two other parties that were scheduled the first of this year, you know, this month. And um, the girl called and said, hey, I'm not going to have it. And I said, well, I can just come wrap you, you know. And um, she was like, no, I'm going to move it, you know, to another day. I'll let you know because I want people to be there. Yeah. And then I had another one and I kept calling her to confirm she lead from um, when I had went out. I had gave her my catalog or whatever. Yeah. And um, I followed up and um no response so just yeah you just have to it's but like, i think i want to do like you said, just go live yeah just go live on those days that you were supposed to have a party i mean you've already committed yourself to saying you're having a party so have one just go live and have the party you can mm -hmm. just do a quick uh party with just the system you know just introduce the system um, really quickly, um, show before, if you're doing it virtually, make sure you still virtually show the before and after pictures because people still in your audience want to see that. Okay. Yeah, I did one virtual party last, when did I do that, Internet Sunday? Mm -hmm. I did a virtual party on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anybody got any other questions? Yeah, I got one more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, so for your parties, do you do most of them in person or virtual or both? Most in person. Most in person, okay. I don't really get the virtual parties that much. I don't understand what to do, really. And again, you guys, I'm kind of slow when it comes to like, I'm the person that didn't know you had to get four lawyer customers. Like, I, I, don't, I don't get it. I really, I just don't get it. I don't get the whole virtual party thing. And maybe that's just me. I just don't get it right now. And, I, and maybe because I haven't asked anybody. I have some team members that do it. I've seen people do it. Um, but then it's like, why I could just go live, you know, and they, they either come on or not, but people going to an event and I don't, you know, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I haven't done it, you know? Mm. I, I haven't done it. Like I have 3,000, almost 4,000 friends. Like you all are welcome, you know? But I like it. I like the event the event page parties, but, but I think I see people like they hang up the phone. I mean, they hang up the live and then they talk and then they hang up, post the product or something like that. I just don't get it right now. So I haven't had any experience with virtual parties. Now I have gone live. Like most of the time when I do a rap party, I go live unless it's most <laughs> in the day. So I'm actually going live 
at the rap party. So if you go down my page, you should see like a lot of rap parties. Like we have them all the time. So I don't, and maybe that's why I don't have time to do the virtual ones because they, <laughs> they see them, they're there, <laughs> so, you know, in my audience. Gotcha. But you can do a, a physical, that physical connection, especially like the thermo fit demonstration, like people are so, the wild cream, so anything fast, the wraps, that's mm. something you can't really get virtually. Like they, you need to be like face to face if you can. It's, man, it's, let me tell you, it's like, that's talk about working smarter, rap parties. That's why my 33% is, is a real clutch. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's one thing I've been like, I haven't, I've literally been doing everything from social media. So mm -hmm. now I'm like, I want to, I want to kickstart. Like I want to move a little faster. Cause I'm just yeah. the type of person that I just, I don't want to take forever. You have to <laughs> double the work on social media. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, now I'm like, okay, maybe I need to blitz even though I don't want to. Yeah. Maybe I need to do some in-person rap parties. So that's how you can find like, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out like what's going to work best for me and try everything before I roll yeah. it out. Just be uncomfortable. Like yeah. being uncomfortable. That's how you're going to get those uncomfortable checks. You're going to be like, Ooh, <laughs> you, know, you got to do some, you got to do some stuff that other people won't do, you know, and that could be like being the girl in the mall with the straightener, you know, <laughs> yeah. or the sea salt cream on your nails. You know, you gotta, you gotta be that girl. What we got? Erin, hey girl. I'm seeing people. Deidre, Crystal, Nadia, Latrice, Monique. Hey. I got one last question. Okay. I got a question too. Have you ever wrapped somebody and then they say, oh, I don't see anything, even though you took a before and after? You saw a little bit, but they didn't get this wow, wow result. What? I think probably myself. I was like, this don't work. That's why I did not wrap that that many times i didn't rap until i saw alina's rap pictures before she had her baby her first baby like when she had just started i was like she got abs like i didn't take it seriously so i've had people like that i'm like look you gotta do four you know that's the whole point they're progressive like look at this i always show people look at her results from the first time and then i always like to show my results from the first time but then I have like the second time and the third and the fourth. I haven't done a full box of wraps. So I just wrap. So this week will be my first time doing four wraps, actually. So because I wasn't sold on the wraps, to be honest, because I was like that lady. Like I felt like I didn't really see that many results. Was she like heavy set? No, not really. She just, um, she kind of was like me, you know, had three kids, you know, you got the loose. You know what I mean? You're trying to tighten that up. So she kind of felt like she wanted to see like this wow, you know, results. How long did she have it on? No, oh, that my results was after two that. We okay. we had it on there for maybe even more than 45 minutes because we were talking while I did it. Oh, see, I keep mine on long. That 45 minutes. Um, I I like it. I want to get my money sort out. Work, work out. <laughs> Our rap parties, we always do 45 minutes, or 50, or maybe 50, depending on the party. But, like, when they take pictures, they see good results. Like, if anything, that love handle on the side is, like, diminishing. Like, so it works. And then the top, you know, you're getting abs up there. So they work. I would just tell, like, you have to do a little sample. Right. Because I got a lady that wants to try one. She said she tried one before from it's another distributor. Water. She tried one before from another distributor and she said that she was told that it would work with the first one and she didn't really see anything. And I, I did tell her, well, a, a treatment is a full box. You yeah. haven't got a full treatment. So and take before and after picture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the problem. You're going to have some doubt. Some people want it to be a magic pill and I'm telling you, it's not magic, you know, <laughs> I'm, I am, the person that you have to prove it to me that it works. So <laughs> it works. I have a question. Could y'all hear me? Yes. Yeah, I can hear you. Not is it Nadia? Yes, yeah, me. Hey girl. Hey. 
So I am going to be a first time mom next week. What do you recommend for me as far as like how to run my business? Because I know I'm going to get a little hectic. So I guess it's like, what can I do to not slack off as far as doing it works and being a first time mom? I would post about, I would like post my journey. Like, okay. what are you doing? What products are you using? Do you need the confiance? I don't know if you're going to be breastfeeding, but I would focus on like the greens. I would focus on things that I could use while I'm pregnant. Um, I would focus on things that I can use postpartum while I'm breastfeeding and I would take them on the journey. Thank God that I'm home. I'm able to be home and I'm able to build my business and be home with my baby and still make money. Thank God that I don't have to worry about <laughs> not being paid after my six weeks pays up. Thank God that I'm able to like work and be home with my baby in the bed at the same time. You have to take them through the journey because it's going to be some moms to be like, I remember she was working, like she had a baby, she was still making money, she wasn't complaining, she didn't rush and go back to work. Like you, there are, I mean, that story is identifiable with so many people. Okay. I would be posting about pregnant moms, I would be posting about stretch mark cream, I would be posting about everything related to the snapback, you know, can't wait, you know, to snap back, because baby, you better snap back, because that's... <laughs> I wish I could be pregnant right now. And sometimes I'm ready. Like, <laughs> I'm like, sure. But yeah, I posted about like the stretch mark cream and this new mommy to be group. But it, everyone was just like, oh, well, I don't have stretch marks right now. Or that doesn't work. My stretch marks came after I, you know, after I delivered my baby and all this stuff. And I'm like, well, it still works if you have, I mean, it doesn't just work having a stretch marks pregnant now it's for afterwards too you can use it anytime and they're like well everyone's stomach is different and i'm like okay i understand that and it's like when i post in there it's like a group of people that just try to down talk you yeah. so i stopped mm -hmm. but i just did because i didn't know what to respond to them yeah i would just you know post about the wraps keep posting about your your journey um even with them like the ladies in there i would tell them about you know hey you know i'm I'm able to work while having a baby or I'm able to work from home um, with my newborn or something like that. Like uh, find another way around um, not sell, selling something to them. Like okay. maybe, maybe they may be good to be distributors versus actually to be customers in there. Or you may want to connect with some of those people on a, I don't know if you're actually friends with them on social media outside of the group. So if you're friends mm -hmm. with them, I will start befriending some of them and then taking them through the journey. Like yeah, the ones that like when I was posting, when they liked the picture or they messaged me, I became friends with them. But the other ones, I was just like, I'm not even going to ask them to be my friend on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, until you, until you, you know, get paid and they're going to be like, well, what is she doing? Um, yeah. So you kind of like have to make those people believers or show them better than you can tell them type of deal with those negative um people and some people just need you know they need to see if it works or not and you have it's our job to really show them that and that's what mm -hmm. we tend to forget and we also have to again take them if you have your baby and what you say two two weeks next week next week i will be counting down counting down to have my baby making sure i got my skinny pack in order like I got my, I post the baby bag with a skinny pack in. I'm thinking about all the pictures, like okay. skinny ready, skinny pack ready, defining gel ready, stretch my cream ready, like check diaper bag ready, okay. like you know, just take them, you know, and just start thinking about your posts in your mind, copy and paste them, put them in your phone with the new baby, and just talk to them with your journey. Like take a picture in the bed. You know, with your feet, you know, you have the baby, able to work my business. Like, it's no, really no excuse. Your baby could be right there. That is a, a joy to mm -hmm. have your baby and be able to work your business. At the same time, you just have to show people that because that is a good way to get distributors as well. But with the customer, just post about the products that mommies need, like the wraps, you know, and losing weight, trying to get rid of that baby fat snapback post you can go look at patrice garrison and pretty much her journey was just that okay ready to lose ready to lose weight when she 
was done with her baby, a picture of her baby. Like it just, it was totally geared towards moms and new moms and snapback and then taking them to the journey. Like make sure you document your weight loss journey too. Okay. The snap it back. You got to do all of that with the black line and everything. <laughs> yeah. My baby is nine, so I don't even know how to hold a baby. I barely know how to hold this little dog. <laughs> so, I don't, I can't tell you anything about being a new mommy, how that's going to be. Because I, quite frankly, I don't even remember nine mm-hmm. years ago. I'm going to be texting Antoinette. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because she's on the boob right now, just sitting here. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I'm gonna be on a on a Zoom call. Oh, that's how like Devin Ring, like when we have yeah. our calls, she is, that baby is right there, twenty four seven. She's another good person to go look at and watch her. Like she has a new baby, she's still breastfeeding, and she is working her business like full time. So what's her name? Devin Ring yeah. Jones. Yeah, she was gonna be one of the next people I uh, contact. Uh, uh. Yeah, she's good. Especially with me and a new mommy and working the business. Mm-hmm. People like to see mm-hmm. Anyone got any other questions? I do. I have one more. Um, I just need like a better way to explain the loyal customer program. So I feel like I try to switch it up from hearing different things um but you always get those people like what why i gotta do three months or why do i have to do it like this you know what i mean i just feel like i need kind of like a different way to explain it to them okay um for me i don't know how else you can explain that when if it's a 90 day challenge i tell them it's a 90 day challenge right Um, prior to um i don't say requires it's a 90 day challenge um In exchange for, you know, you take the product consistently. I say take the product consistently. You document your journey through pictures, our written testimony. In exchange, we're going to give you a 40% off discount. Um, You just need to order a a product every month um, for the next 90 days. Um, You can change your products every month. Um, There's no minimum or maximum amount that you have to spend. We're going to give you 10% back that can be used after the 90-day challenge is over. Um, tell them after the 90 day challenge is over, um, you're going to be a lifetime lawyer customer. You're going to always receive that 40% off and you're going to be entitled to free shipping and you're going to be able to use those points. I net when people hear no minimum, no maximum, they're like, oh, okay. Cause the problem is they get the system and they think you don't have to pay $147 every month. I say, say, for example, you can get $23 fat fighters this, um, next month. You can get a $36 cleanse. So I tell them the number. I say, say, for instance, you buy the system this month. Next month, you can get Fat Fighters since you don't want to add it on today. And then the third month, you can get um, another another pack of greens because you'll probably be out um, of your greens or you can try the greens on the go. So I tell them that, and that's $36. So I, tell, they, they, I give them a forecast of what they're going to spend. $38 for shipping and handling. You know, $36 if it's the greens. $28, you know, I tell them that, which is true. I say, you get to pick the date that you wanted to come out. And I don't really, once I say that, and I put that in those small little texts, I say, um, $55 retail, $36 lawyer customer. The lawyer customer is um, you joining the 90 day challenge and agreeing to purchase one product every month for the next 90 days, no minimum, no maximum. Um, and you have to consistently use the product. I tell them that's a requirement of the 90 day challenge. Consistently use the product um, and document your journey either through pictures because what they'll say is, well, how am I going to take pictures using the coconut oil? Girl, put them on your edges and that's what's going to make <laughs> your edges grow. Are you? And that's why I added in written because that was my first time getting that when someone said, how am I, I'm using the oils, how am I going to, hey girl, just write me a message and tell me how they smell and make you feel good. You know, kind of like, I tell them that, you know, it's required for you to have these written testimonies and that's why we're giving this 40% off. So, they're like, okay, I can do that. And so the people who are hesitating are, especially when they're getting some, a big price item, like, you don't have to get this next month, you can get anything. And they're like, oh, okay. 
So just have to let them know, like, it's not the same product because most companies, it's the same thing over and over again that they have to get. So you just make sure you tell them you can change the product. It's no minimum or maximum amount that you have to see here. And after that, you can turn your auto shipment off or you continue ordering. I say six months down the line, if you get married, you want to get about a box of wraps, you can get a box of wraps. You'll be a loyal customer for life. Get that 40% off. Spring break coming up. You can get it then. Okay, thank you. Hey, anyone else? Talk to everybody, Marquita. Haven't talked to Marquita. Dana on the iPad. No, no. If nobody has any other questions, well, we thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, you know, actually, I have one quick question. Do you use the party pad um, when you do the parties? Um, I used to. Um, at first, when my girls would come, I would try to use it because they were like, what is the party pad? I've never seen you with party pad. So mm -hmm. I started to use it. Um, sometimes, you can't let it feel. I'll put it out there. Um, sometimes, when I first started, I was a little nervous. So I would just have it. Like I had, um, I cut out the notes and put it into it until I got familiar with it. But once you start doing it, um, and we have so many different products now. Um, that are not in the party pad. It's just like I go over my favorite products and that's pretty much it. Sometimes I'll hold it out um, just so people can see. But, but otherwise, I, I really don't use it that much. I used to hold it a lot when I first started. But I feel like when we get comfortable, we stop holding it. Um, but I probably need to go back to using it, especially if I'm going to be going live. <laughs> but yeah, I don't use it as much. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't, right, because I don't really do too many in-person parties because I don't really know too many people around here, but um, I'm going, I'm trying to start. And so that's how I was like, okay, I just printed out the party pad notes. Just yeah, like I cut it. every last one of them out. Mm -hmm. I cut it out, cut the side. So they're, they're in there. Um, and once I got comfortable with it, um, I stopped using it. But yeah, I used to, because it's, it's a good guy, especially the notes. And I said I was going to go back because we have the new notes that are out. Right, yeah. That's why I just printed I'll, out the I'll new add, notes. Yeah, I'll add the new, the new notes. And then a lot of stuff I didn't know about, like, the defining gel and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I would need um, the party pad at that point. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If anybody, if nobody has any other questions or things like that, then we say good night and thank Ashley so much. You can write on her wall and thank her. <laughs> um, so yeah. Nobody else? Yes, thank you. Okay. Wait. I think I do have one last question, but it's not a long one. So okay. Okay. So my last question <laughs> is, when you are talking to potential distributors, do you are you talking to them on the phone, like for sure? For sure. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I'm talking to them on the phone. Well, I mean, I send them the video though. Like, I, people can't waste my time. I send them the video so they know, because you're not gonna hang up in my face when I say ninety nine dollars. Like, I want you to be clear. <laughs> so. One hundred and fifty, because you're gonna boost with me. Like, if you don't have the one fifty to get at least a bottle of hair and nail pills. I have some greens on the go that's going to be a marketing tool for you. you need, mm. We can address this at a later date because I need you to, I don't need you calling me saying you don't have no products because that's the first thing people are going to say, I don't have any wraps and I don't have any greens, so what am I going to do? So I'll make you get the greens. I'll make you get the hair, skin, and nail pills at least. So I kind of tell them, like, it's going to pay $150 when you sign up or something like that, depending on who I'm talking to. If they okay. Lose weight, I ask them kind of like, because you want to give them like, our auto shipments take forever. They're going to be commission qualified the first month, so they're not going to run the auto shipment. That's like two months later, they're going to get product. So I'm telling them like, hey, you need to, while you're at it, go look in, into our products, figure out what you want to order when you um, become a distributor, because you're going to expect to order something that you can use and get results from. Okay. That's kind of like how I do. Yeah. I send them the video before I 
top you send them the um results to residual video no i send them alina's five minutes which is eight minutes spill video it's like an okay. old video. i send them that um Rynessa has one too depending on who i'm talking to um i've seen Rynessa's on um so i kind of go back and forth between those two i'll send those and then i say i'll reach like hey what do you like about the video or i'll say hey can we chat now and they're like yeah i'm ready i just watched it if i get them like 15 minutes tops okay okay cool yep can i get a smile from everybody from my screenshot Oh Lord! Right. <laughs> sure. Okay, got it. <laughs> Stay ready. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you next Wednesday. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Ashley. All right. All right. Thank you. Oh, and see you at conference. You'll be at conference, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you there. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Good night, ladies. Bye. Good night.